Hello and welcome to this lecture. Today we are going to discuss the categories of drug. Drug are classified into a number of uh, subdivisions depending upon the chemical nature. We will discuss some basic categories of drug. And if you take a look of this picture, we can see that it has been classified into stimulants such as cocaine, amphetamine and caffeine and these all three drugs are used uh, for waking for long hours and a lot of people abuse them especially the use of amphetamines among the undergraduate students is very common and uh, during the exams uh, to study for long time or long duration then the second uh, category is nicotine and that nicotine is commonly present in uh, smoking in tobacco and uh, it can cause lung cancer then we have uh, psychotherapeutics uh, that can affect uh, on the psychology of the human uh, then we have opioids such as morphine uh, which have addictive properties and it was used it is used actually for uh, relieving the pain for especially for patient uh, that are suffering from severe pain due to cancer and then we have codeine which has been used in cough syrup then heroin which is another uh, product which is more potent than morphine and uh, they are not used in our daily life then the depressants uh, we have alcohol, benzodiazepine. Uh, you know, I know, I know that you are not familiar with the uh, drugs, but in simple terms, benzodiazepine are used just like as sleeping pills. They mention sleeping pill as well. Then inhalants. Then the use of marijuana uh, is smoking weed. It is also famous and it is commonly present. Uh, then we have hallucinogens we have psilocybin we have lsd uh, that these drugs can cause the euphoria so they there are different uh, uh, psychoactive drugs and these all uh, drugs that is mentioned here they are under the psychoactive drugs the most powerful drugs uh, or we can say the most powerful psychoactive drug that is commonly used uh, is the cocaine and amphetamines and at high dose it can produce a maniac state of excitement combined with paranoia and hallucination then the use of alcohol is very common and it can have a strong effect on the behavior then we know that depressants uh, like sleeping pill that uh, people use uh, if they are not getting enough sleep uh, to uh, keep yourself calm at low dose uh, they can appear to depress uh, the brain but, and leading to relaxation then we have opioids which are used for pain killing effects especially morphine but these all opioids such as morphine or heroin they have uh, uh, dependencies or addicted properties and if a person is using opioids for long duration then um, if he want to leave these drugs he cannot leave them easily because of the withdrawal syndromes and the patient can experience diarrhea cramp and profuse sweating then we have uh, hallucinogens uh, that produce altered perception unusual perception or sensations and we will discuss these all uh, in a separate chapter later on so thank you so much for today's lecture hopes to see you again in upcoming lecture